What the fuck? Story. Life is Strange puts you in the eyes of 18-year-old Max Caulfield. Max is in photography class at Blackwell Academy when she wakes up from a very realistic dream of a storm destroying her fictional town of Arcadia Bay, Oregon. Soon after waking up from the dream, Max discovers that she has the ability to rewind time, and our story begins. Max is faced with a variety of issues along the way. You'll meet up with an old friend, try to solve the mystery of a missing girl in the town, and deal with death, all while trying to maintain the balance of your rewind power and figure out how it affects the universe. The story follows an episodic formula, featuring five episodes. Each episode takes around an hour and a half to three hours, depending on how much you investigate the world. The story is highly compelling and the main attraction to the game. The episodes seem to get more and more dynamic with each episode as the cliffhangers become more emotionally painful. All the characters are well fleshed out and each has their own unique personality, which is a nice change of pace from the average game. Gameplay Life is Strange offers a very simple but entertaining gameplay experience. The game is a point-and-click game, meaning there's not much you'll have to do in regards to skillfully moving around the world. You'll be presented with some puzzles and various find items throughout the game, one of the most tedious aspects. But the primary mechanic of the gameplay is based around the dialogue and item interaction. Life is Strange is based around all of your interactions with people and items in the game, each presenting their own consequences. When you have a conversation, you'll be presented with multiple options. You choose how you want the conversation to go, giving your own unique answers. This gives Max a bit of depth as you can decide how you want to speak with her. Each time you interact with another character, whether rudely, nicely, quietly, etc., it will be remembered by the character you're speaking to in the game. The game emphasizes a butterfly effect with your powers and dialogue. Every decision you make controls how the story moves and the characters in it. One unique thing Life is Strange does offer is the ability to rewind time. The time travel is typically limited to a set time. You can use it to go back and change how conversations went if you don't like what you said. It will be used throughout the game to help you achieve different things that an ordinary human wouldn't be able to do. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Design. Graphically, Life is Strange is interesting. It's not a high fidelity game that exudes realism. Instead, the game opts to go for an almost watercolor look. It's not going to blow you away or leave you in awe, but it's unique and really fits the game since Life is Strange has a heavy emphasis on art. The sound design in the game is amazing. The game bleeds with atmosphere. I don't often play games with my headset, but boy was I glad I did with this game. Every sound is noticeable and you'll feel like you're in the setting where the game is taking place. Not to mention the soundtrack. Oh, the soundtrack. The score for this game takes you on a ride. It's the perfect blend of teenage angst and modern feel. It knows just when to tug on the heartstrings, the right time to raise the tension, and the perfect time to create a moment of love. It's very powerful what this game can do with its music and sound design. Finally, a kudos to the voice actors in this game. Every character's voice suits them well. You'll never look at a person and say, I don't like this voice. They fit well, and when a character shift happens, they know how to switch it to have the proper tonality. The Good Life is Strange offers a Hollywood type of story on a budgeted price. At $20, it's almost a steal. The first episode is free on every platform to my knowledge, so there's almost no excuse to not at least give it a try. The gameplay is simple, but done well enough to keep you interested. With its butterfly effect trope and multiple endings, Life is Strange is a quality game with some replay value. It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. The Bad While Life is Strange is a game that offers a lot of good things, it for sure has problems. The number one issue with the game? This right here. Female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? I don't know what the developers were doing or if they just ran out of money, but the lip syncing is horrendous. Don't watch the lips during conversation or you'll feel like you're watching a poorly dubbed Godzilla film. It's rough. The puzzles the game throws you are tedious and sometimes don't make sense. Maybe I'm just a dumb dumb, but I had to look up things on YouTube several times to figure out just what I was doing wrong. Also, the game promises that each action you take will affect how things turn out in the game. This seems to be true, but only on an individual episode basis. 
Once you finish the episode, it feels like only one or two main plot points will have consequences going forward. I was also disappointed with how little Max's rewind ability was utilized. Final Verdict Life is Strange is one of the best narratives I've ever played. The story is heart-wrenching. It drags you into the immersive world and makes you care about what will happen next. There will be twists, deaths, and surprising finishes. Some will leave you stunned, needing to know what happens next. While Life is Strange may not make you care about every character, it does make sure that everyone plays a part. The gameplay is simple, but that's the beauty of Life is Strange. It knows its identity. At times, you'll feel more like you're watching a movie than playing a game. But at the end of the day, it's still incredibly entertaining. The game isn't without its faults, and the style of gameplay may not be for everyone. However, this game snuck up on me. Life is Strange tore me apart emotionally. If you couldn't already tell, I loved this game. It quickly became one of my favorite games of all time, and I adored just about every minute I played of it. Life is Strange gets a 9.5 out of 10. Today we will sell our uniform and live together, live together.